As of January 2016, CEA offers a hazard reduction discount from 5 to 20 percent for wood-framed single-family houses constructed before 1979, retrofitted with the following characteristics. A raised foundation, not a slab, a wood structure properly anchored to the foundation, cripple walls braced with plywood, and a water heater secured to the building's frame. Older houses constructed before modern seismic codes may have conditions that make them vulnerable to earthquake damage. Conditions that are known to cause serious structural damage are unbolted and unbraced cripple wall or stem wall foundations. Cripple walls and stem walls are the walls that surround the crawl space under the house. Older homes with raised wood-framed floors typically lack sufficient earthquake bracing and bolting under the first floor. Houses that are not bolted tend to slide or topple off their foundation in earthquakes. With strong earthquake shaking, cripple walls allow the house to move excessively and may topple off of the foundation. To determine if your house is a slab on grade foundation or has a stem wall or cripple wall, look at the lower part of your outside walls. Houses built on concrete slab on grade foundations do not qualify for the hazard reduction discount. Slab on grade houses were typically bolted to the foundation when they were built. Houses that qualify for the discount have raised, wood framed first floors and either require bracing and bolting or only bolting. Both cripple wall and stem wall houses that qualify for the discount have raised, wood framed first floor construction. This does not mean an interior wood floor. To determine if your house has wood framed construction, you or a contractor must look under the house in the crawl space area. Cripple wall houses will typically have five to six steps leading up to the wood framed first floor. Cripple wall houses have short wood stud walls surrounding the crawl space under the floor. These short stud walls are called cripple walls. The cripple walls are supported on the concrete perimeter foundation. Cripple wall houses require a brace and bolt retrofit. Stem wall houses will have a crawl space under the first floor. Stem wall houses have wood framed floor joists and beams supported directly on the concrete perimeter foundation and will require a bolt only retrofit. To determine if a house has a cripple wall or stem wall, you have to access the crawl space under the first floor. The crawl space is typically accessed from outside the house through an opening below the first floor. However, sometimes the opening is in a closet floor inside the house. The qualifying cripple wall house has a wood framed first floor supported by short wood studs at the perimeter and on beams and piers at the interior. No work is required at these interior beams and piers. The perimeter cripple walls are supported on a continuous concrete or masonry foundation. Houses with cripple walls greater than four feet tall require a retrofit designed by an engineer. To install foundation anchor bolts, new blocking is placed between two studs at the location of the new anchor. A hole is then drilled through the block and into the foundation. The hole is then cleaned thoroughly. Next, an adhesive or epoxy anchor is installed. The adhesive is inserted into a clean hole in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. A threaded rod is inserted into the fresh adhesive. A plate washer is installed and is secured with a nut. Expansion or wedge anchors may also be allowed. Required anchor size and spacing is specified in the California Building Code standards. The retrofit also requires installation of new plywood or OSB sheathing on the inside of the cripple wall. The sheathing must be continuous from the mud sill to the top of the cripple wall. Sheathing size and length is specified in the California Building Code standards. The sheathing has vent holes and is nailed in accordance with the code. Finally, most code compliant retrofits require installation of new framing clips at the top of the cripple wall.
For houses with a stem wall foundation or short cripple walls, there may not be enough room to drill a vertical hole into the foundation. Foundation plates approved by the building official can be installed between the mudsill and the foundation in lieu of anchor bolts. Houses with cripple walls taller than 4 feet require a retrofit designed by an engineer. Houses with large openings in the walls at the lowest level may also require an engineered retrofit design. Like the cripple wall retrofit, an engineered solution may include new anchor bolts, foundation plates, and plywood sheathing. The problem with large door openings is there is often not enough length of wall on either side of the door. When walls are wide enough, they may be retrofitted with plywood sheathing for the engineered design, but they also may require additional elements such as hold downs. Hold downs are metal brackets that are bolted to the foundation and attached to wood studs or posts at the end of the walls. Another option for retrofitting walls with large openings is to add prefabricated elements such as metal wall panels. Steel columns or steel frames are also used to retrofit narrow walls, such as the walls on either side of this garage door. Steel columns and steel frames often require new concrete foundations along the length of the wall. These are all examples of engineered retrofit solutions that qualify for the discount. For information about the discount, contact your insurance agent. For information on how to retrofit your house, call 888-933-9888. 7-6.